All right, guys, what's up? How's it going? Iron Man here, and today what I have for you is a very great uh, mini tutorial slash tips and tricks on how to prevent your city application from crashing all the time, whether it be instantly or while excuse me while you're already in the app itself. So. Um, if this video is actually longer than expected, please go ahead and watch it. Um, I'm assuming if you're having this problem, you're going to regardless. So we just wanted to get that out there. If you if your internet can handle it, please watch this in HD. It's going to help uh, a ton. There's a few applications you're going to need, and everything will be in the sidebar in the more info section. But I'm also going to go through it uh, while the video goes through uh, as well. So before we get this little quick tutorial started, um, I want to say if you're not already subscribed to my Iron Man 333333 channel, go ahead and do that. Um, if you like, you'll get all my video updates. And if you uh, would like to watch this later, this video later for reference or whatever it may be, uh, go ahead and favorite this video. It's down below the video player itself. And don't forget to rate the video as well. So let's get in with the tutorial. The first and most common uh, crash for Cydia, and there's actually two, two to three. Uh, I forget which. We'll get through them though. Um, the first one though is actually the most common, and that's you know whether it be 10 to 10 to 15 seconds after you're already in Cydia, whether it be after you reloaded, whether it be if you're searching or if you know you're just downloading, browsing, whatever it may be, and it crashes on you at random, just completely random. Um, or even sometimes you guys get the reboot. Um, this is definitely going to prevent. Uh, this is the most common one, and it's a very simple fix. Actually, you don't even really need to do anything. The most common, um, the way to fix this, and this is pretty much the only way to fix the common mistake, is to uh, clear your memory. Now, uh, how do you get memory, and how is it lost, and how can I view it? Well, I'm going to get through every single one right now. The first and easy way, the easiest way to get um, to show your memory, and as you can see, it's in my status bar right here. We'll go ahead and show you guys let it focus 52 you can see right there um, I have currently I'm mean, excuse me 42 uh, is to get SB settings if you don't have SB settings then you know you can go ahead and grab it uh, it, it will show you your memory you can also free memory in here we'll go ahead and show you how to do that as well we'll go ahead and zoom up for video purposes as you can see I have 42 megabytes and we can go ahead and simply click on processes we'll show you what's available on my phone right now and we can simply click free memory as you can see there, it takes about five seconds. Once it's done, uh, it will stop. You can exit SB settings and you've cleared some memory. Now this isn't the easiest and most efficient way simply because it doesn't free as much as you would you know, want or need. The easiest and most simplest way to do it is simply respring your device. You can get that by any, any common respring. Uh, actually, SB settings allows you to respring as well. So uh, keep that in mind. Um, that's basically it for your memory. I, it's not a known fact, but what I found works best is at minimum 7 to 10 megabytes uh, available on your iDevice. Any firmware, any device, iPod Touch, iPhone, any generation. Uh, you know, that's the common way to fix this. Now, um, if it doesn't fix and you're getting the instant Cydia crash is when, you know, you open up Cydia and boom, instantly crash. It's like the application isn't even there. Uh, the, the next fix is going to help you, and I call this the T-Mobile fix. Now, not T-Mobile as in the cellular company, excuse me, cellular company. This is T-Mobile, and why I call it that is, well, um, terminal mobile, mobile terminal. You can get this in Cydia. If you can't get it in Cydia and, you're, and your city is crashing, that's why you're watching this video, uh, you can go ahead and get the deb. You can download the .deb file. You just search in Google, uh, mobile terminal, .deb, mobile terminal download. You'll get it easy. Um, what this is going to do is allow you to run terminal commands on your iPhone. Now, most common average people do not know how to run terminal commands on their device. Well, I'm going to show you how to do it and what to type in exactly. So we're going to scroll until we find my mobile terminal. And here it is right there. We're going to click on mobile terminal. And it's going to load simply like so. There's my camera. So after it loads, it's going to prompt you with this. And it's going to say mobile. And there it is. There's my iPhone, and I currently have 38 megabytes available. Now, simple. What you're going, and I'll, I'll zoom in up this after I type it in. What you're going to do is type it in with me. You're going to type in SU, excuse me, SU, like so. And you're going to hit return, or as some may call it, enter. It's going to ask you for a password. The common average password in, by default is Alpine. Now, 
I actually typed it in incorrect, which is good. It doesn't do backspaces, so if you screw up, it's fine. Do it again. If you change your password for your via SSH, then you know, uh, go ahead and change it to what you actually changed it to. As you can see, it was not found, but you know, I redid it, and I'm actually in. Now, what you, what you want to do next, and what this is going to do before I do anything, because I don't want to scare you guys and make you think you're going to do something that's going to, you know, screw you over or prevent something that you don't want happening. What this is simply going to do is um, going to tell you what's wrong in your Cydia. Now, um, this is going to help you in many different ways. It, the most common uh, errors in Cydia are from repos, whether if they get 404 errors, they can't fetch data, data excuse me. Um, you know, or may, whether it be an application, or e even the next most common, a file missing. It's going to tell you what to do, how to fix it, and list what's wrong. You can fix this via SSH, um, and we're going to go ahead and do it right now. You want to type in apt dash no space get space update. As you can see, let's zoom in, get it right there. Sorry I'm not prepared for this, I keep having to move it up and forward, but you guys get the idea. Press return, and it's going to give you a message like so. It says, could not open log file. What this means is, I don't have anything wrong in my application as of yet, so it's not really going to give me anything, it's going to get confused. Say, hey, you know, wait a minute, we can't find something, what's going on, there's nothing wrong, what do you want us to do? Well, if you have something wrong with your uh, Cydia, which you probably do, which is why you're watching this video, it's going to list something. Uh, I, I'll have it in the more info, or I'll try to get in more annotation. If I can't get an annotation in this video right now, then I'm sorry, that was me being lazy or forgetful. I tend to do that a lot, but it will be in the more info at the very least. It's going to give you an example of what you might see, and that is whether it be a repo or a file missing. If it gives you something like a uh, partial is missing, that's a file going to tell you what to do and it's going to tell you where it's located. You're going to go into SSH and that's it. You're just going to re, uh, remake it. If it's a repo, you're going to delete it. Now, how do you delete files and stuff that it tells you what to delete? Well, you're going to do that via SSH. Um, I'm not going to tell you to do that in this tutorial. That's, um, that's making it way too long. What I'm telling you right now is the gist of how to do it and how to fix Cydia Crash is the easiest way. Um, again, this is for when you're going to run mobile terminal when Cydia is crashing instantly. If it's not crashing instantly, you're going to do the most common fix, and I tend to do this a lot, and that's just to make sure you have a good amount of uh, space, RAM available. Uh, right now, you can see I have 37. Um, again, at minimum, you want around 7 to 10 at the very least. Try to get 15, try to get 20. If you can't, again, um, it, will, it will tend to run slow. If you're on 5, if you're running on 5, 6, it's going to crash or run slow. I mean, if you're running on one to two, you're looking for you just you just want crash. So um, that's just it, man. Uh, eight minutes. I'm already into it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Quick little fixes I want to get out there and uh, to help some of the people that needed it. My site is currently down, so I wanted to make a video, test my new camera, test my new setup, um, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Hopefully, it will be you know a little bit better. I'll have the uh, setup a little bit better anyway. So um, again, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so and. If you have any questions at all, any questions, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash doitupyo. Just like it sounds, it's spelled just like it sounds. More info section, I answer 99.9% .9 questions on there, guaranteed. Have a question, hit me up on there, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Have a good one.